602 Hamilton place it's a court dead end so very low traffic it's quiet don't hear any highways in the distance and all the surrounding houses are very well kept nice looking like a nice part of Glen Burnie somewhat nice um, the roof looks good all the way across no damage looks even siding looks good all the way around the house as well no damage driveway here front door only part of the yard's got this white privacy fence the rest is looks like whatever the neighbors had wood over here a chain link fence back behind us and then a different type of wood down there that none of them match I don't know um, Siding looks good over here as well as the foundation. No cracks. It's a good sized backyard. Not much, you know, only about 20 feet from the house to this fence, but it's very long. We back up to like pretty well kept neighbors, quiet, no loud streets or anything, no commercial buildings. Like I said the yard goes pretty far down that way. And the roof on the back looks good as well as the front. And siding over here looks good. This is basement access. And we'll go through the house, but I should show you the uh, sump pump. It's on the outside here. And there's one inside as well. And this door goes through the kitchen. Clean off this lens real quick. Front door, as soon as you walk in, there's a little foyer area, closet, and then stairs up through this door, stairs down and a room, panel ceiling, panel around the bottom half of the walls. Decent sized room. And also on this level is this room. Through the front door directly. And you walk into your right. Living or bedroom. Bay windows in good shape. As well as the rest of the windows. The rest are vinyl throughout the house. All in really good condition. It's a nice big room, uh, panel on the walls, drywall ceiling, electric panels in here, 
Wiring looks fine. It's a 100 amp panel. Um, before we go up, we'll do the basement first. Down here, first when you walk down is a washing dryer and heating and air and hot water heater and back door. There's two small rooms. No drywall down here. The other small room has a small closet and the sump pump, another sump pump in here. A little bit of water damage along the bottom, as well as some small termite damage. Um, that's just in the framing. I don't see any termite damage in the joists. The joists, I think, were about. 7-2 I think and uh, but the ductwork drops down to about 6-10 and there's a full bath down here no sink right now it's plumbed in though and stand up shower tile on the floor is in decent shape Feels pretty level down here. Train unit's in pretty good shape. Looks pretty new. And hot water heater looks good. Some corrosion on the pipes, but otherwise, it's all copper, it looks like. That's it for the downstairs. Now up. To the main floor, living kitchen, di uh, living kitchen, dining room area. It's all drywall, in great shape. Nice big living area. It's opened up to the dining. Here's another look at these windows. They're in great shape. Kitchen has two entrances here and here. Cabinets are functioning and all here, but uh, they're a little bit older style. It's a nice, good sized kitchen. And just access to the backyard there. Yeah, upstairs. It's three bedrooms. This is the biggest of the three here. All the drywalls in good condition up here as well as the windows. Ceilings are in good shape. This is the biggest of the three closets. Not that big. Plumbing looks good behind the tub. This is the second medium sized bedroom. Still good sized. Windows, ceilings, and walls in here. Great shape. Medium, small closet. And the smallest bedroom, which feels kind of pretty tight, nine by eleven, and a small corner that's not, you know, cut out from here to here is eleven. Never mind. 
see what I mean in the drawing. It's not quite a square or a rectangle 9x11. It's a corner that's cut out. Um, this is, uh, I guess, some extra storage. Roof looks good. And last is the full bath. The only bathroom right now. Cabinets aren't in bad shape. It's fake tile. Kind of small bathroom. Seven foot ceilings in here. I think it's comfortably high. Maybe a little higher, maybe 7.4. It's on my drawing.